Well, my next guest is a special friend who has appeared on this show numerous times. He's here to talk about his latest novel, The Next Person You Meet in Heaven, which is in stores today. Please welcome Mitch Album. What are you saying, man? How are you doing? Good, how are you doing? Good to see you. Good to see you. Thanks for having me on. All right, how are you? I'm good. Well, you've been busy. This is, uh, this is really amazing. Mitch has written a new book, The Next Person You Meet in Heaven, which is a sequel, right? This is a sequel to The Five People You Meet in Heaven. Right. And I know what it is about, but please explain so the viewers know. So The Five People You Meet in Heaven was my first novel. And it was pr pretty popular, and uh, you it, think? <laughs> <laughs> it uh, concerned an old man named Eddie who dies trying to save a little girl from an accident in an amusement park. And he goes to push her out of the way, and this cart lands on him, and he dies not knowing if he saved her. He goes to heaven, and he finds out that the first stage of heaven is actually you meet five people from your life who you may remember or you may not remember, and each one of them sort of shows you a moment that you change them forever and they change you forever. And he keeps asking, did I save the little girl? Was my life a big waste? And at the end, he gets to find out that this life that he thought was a big nothing actually touched all kinds of people in all kinds of ways, which is what I believe about all of our lives. Right, and John Voight played Eddie in the, in in the, the movie, movie yeah. of, uh -huh. that was made, yeah. and, uh, which was also a huge success. How much was this current book influenced by the last 15 years of your life? Well, quite a bit. I mean, uh, ever since that book, uh, I lost my mom, I lost my dad, and I lost a little girl that we raised as our daughter, one of our orphans from an orphanage I operate in Haiti. And so heaven was kind of on my mind. Uh, that's Chica right there. Right. And so uh, I thought, well, this is a good time to revisit this. And people have been asking me ever since the five people you mean heaven came out, what happened to the little girl? Okay, we know Eddie went to heaven. What happened to this little girl that he saved? So I thought this might be a good time to revisit it. Yeah. And we've been looking at pictures behind you there of Chica. Tell us a little bit about Chica. We, I operate an orphanage in Haiti. I'm there every month. We have 47 kids. Chica was one of our kids. At age five, she developed a very serious brain tumor. Uh, and the MRI came back in Haiti saying there's no one in Haiti who can do anything about this. So we brought her up and spent the next two years. She was basically our daughter, and we traveled around the world trying to save her. And ultimately, she succumbed to the tumor, but not before changing all kinds of lives, especially mine and my wife's. Uh, she was a doll. She was, uh, she was bossy, and she was independent, and she was fiery, and she never once complained. <laughs> she danced and walked around and never once complained about the situation she was in. I'm not sure she even knew. But she got to have a mother and father for at least a few years of her life, and we got to have a daughter. And I don't look at it as we lost a child. I look at it as we were given one. Yeah. Now, in both books, the main characters are taught lessons by children. We always say out of the mouths of babes, mm -hmm. but talk about how and why you use that device. Well, I think children probably teach us more about ourselves than anything. In this particular book, uh, not surprisingly, after you've heard what I've just said, Annie, who grows up in this book, the little girl grows up. She gets married, and on the morning after her, her wedding, uh, she's in a balloon, one of those balloon rides at sunrise, and something goes terribly wrong, and she dies trying to save her new husband. She goes to heaven and meets five people, one of whom is Eddie from the past. But Along the way, she lost a child when she was younger, as we did, and she finds out what happened to that child. And I think anyone who's lost a child always wonders, are they in heaven? Will we see them again? Can we talk to them again? Mm -hmm. I remember Chica one time when she couldn't walk anymore towards the end. We were sitting and uh, we were coloring, and I looked at my watch and said, oh, my God, I've, I've got to go. And she said, no, no, you have to stay here and color. And, uh, you know, I was carrying her from place to place at that time, and she said, no, Chica, I said, i got to go. It's my work. And she said, well, I have to play. And I said, I know, but this is my job. And she said, no, it isn't. Your job is carrying me. <laughs> and of course, like you say, out of the mouths of babes, that is our job. Exactly. That's really, that's our job, to take care of children and those who can't take care of themselves. People cannot read this book or any of the others, but certainly the next person you meet in heaven, and not come away with 
any other reaction than feeling good and reevaluating what they focus on and what their priorities are in life. We go through life with all these questions. Eddie went through life saying, I don't matter, nothing matters, I'm a nobody. Annie goes through life thinking, I keep making mistakes, I keep making mistakes. If heaven is really the blessed place that we all believe that it is, then it seems to me when we get there, one of the things that's gonna happen is we're gonna get everything explained to us. You might have thought that was, wasn't working out, but here's the reason. You might have thought you didn't do anything there, but look at all these different people you touched. And I would think that that would be a pretty good way to begin heaven. Yeah. That's why I imagined it that way. Yeah, exactly.